Hey, Tom Zoom team, Master Trainer JD back with you. Week number four out of five on lose one pound of fat per week. We always do the three prong strategy. Uh, check out the written blog, the eating strategy. We're gonna talk about healthy snacking. If you're like me, when it's dinner's gone after a few hours and it's watching TV, you know, just that snacking. So how to do that in a healthy way. Uh, torching calories, check out the written blog because I talk about interval training, which has so many benefits, not just torching calories, increasing metabolism, but check that out for the remaining benefits. But again, the beauty of the Total Gym is stoking the furnace. So today we're going to tackle shoulders and triceps. Let's get right into it. Let's start with the medius part of your shoulder, then we get into some smaller parts. So another awesome attachment, which makes the Total Gym so versatile. This is the most versatile piece of equipment I've ever worked with. When you start to add accessories, go to TotalGymDirect.com. It just turns this into just a multifaceted machine. So shoulder press, you'll notice one of the reasons you're going to want to buy this attachment is shoulders can get a little tricky. That's the most mobile joint in your body. So there's three different grips that we can choose from there to make sure it's nice and comfy for your shoulder muscles and your shoulder joint. Now, I'm just gonna lie down. I always advocate that my chin, your chin is above the glide board, so there's none of this going on, so your neck is neutral. And then, I'm just gonna press up. Inhale down, press up. And then once again, I can use the different grips to work different parts of the shoulder, but also uh, most importantly for comfort for your shoulder joint. One of the reasons I love this attachment is not only can I do shoulder presses, I can do plyometrics. So once again, coming down as softly as I can with control is an awesome way to really fire up those shoulders and work those in a different way. I guarantee you can't do <laughs> plyometric shoulders at any piece of equipment in your gym. So try those out. Another thing you can do, which I love, is I can push up with two hands, come down with one. Push up with two hands, come down with the other. So just a little different games to alleviate boredom and work your shoulders in a different manner. Little tip from me, in case you don't have this awesome wing attachment, you can emulate that shoulder press by leaning forward from a seated position and press overhead. Okay, now getting into some of those smaller shoulder muscles, uh, I'm gonna pull from my Pilates training. Seated, I like to put the legs up and then sit up nice and tall and do a frontal raise but then go into a shoulder circle. And I can do that both directions. Now, let's say you wanted to do side raises. How you can do that is inverted, with your head up, all right? And then you can do the side raises. And just know in that exercise that it's in your, your super duper training deck. So really utilize that training deck. If it's shoulders and triceps days, keep it fresh and just pull a few cards from those decks and you're good to go. Kneeling, tricep extensions. Now, if, you, if kneeling is not healthy for your knees, not comfy, uh, consult your training deck. Again, you can do these seated or even lying. But I'm gonna, I like to show you unique exercises that I've come up with. So here's the deal. I'm gonna anchor in, which is always critical when you're kneeling. I'm gonna kneel right behind my, my handles. Now, a kneeling tricep extension is just doing this motion, but where I'm gonna add compound exercises, lift my chest off my knees so I'm balancing. Now that's gonna work my lower back and it's also gonna challenge my balance and my proprioception. So from that position, keep your abs taut. Uh, just be really, really uh, cognizant of what you're doing. Be very present. And then I'm gonna extend straight back. Inhale in, keep that chest lifted, but your chin down and extend back. Now I'm gonna end with another kneeling tricep extension. And again, another compound exercise. So check it out. I'm gonna use the back handle because I'm gonna add a little oblique rotation. So first I'm gonna do is you always anchor in with the hand that's holding the handle. That'll stabilize the glide board. Get as much of your shin on the glide board as you can. 
And then what I'm going to do is come down into a kneeling position and I'm going to twist as far this way as I can and then I'm going to come up and twist and extend my arm out. Okay, so once again, I'm coming down and up into a tricep extension. So again, we've got a lot of balance going on and working that tricep. So check those out. That's it for week four. We'll see you next week. Let's do this together and lose one pound of fat per week.